Hey guys, what's up? Uh, Dominic here. Today, uh, I wanted to show you guys how to work with motion templates, which is probably the easiest way to work with motion, um, but can still get confusing. So I figured I would show you guys um, how to do a simple one. So as you can see, there's a lot of templates. Usually the 3D ones are the coolest ones. Um, but, uh, you know, just previews up here in this window and uh, actually that one looks pretty cool so we're gonna go ahead and open that template and it will load and you can see here we have the template okay and there we go so let's just scrub back here and we're gonna go on the left here and find this group group one as you can see on the left here you can see it says text here one text here two that's your clue that that's where the text is at actually I want to just double click this there we go so when you double click it as you can tell let me click this button here um, or if you click it um, it'll highlight it obviously and watch right here when you click it it gives you this little icon and I not, don't know exactly how to say it or how to properly pronounce it or whatever but that basically just faces your text and just kind of lets you focus on it so then you can go ahead and double click it and edit it and we're just gonna say um, Dom247 it's my YouTube name and we'll edit this text um, best vids on the net Okay, let's go back here. And as you can tell, on the net is kind of off. So we're just gonna kind of scoot it over so that it's just in there. And if we go back here, you'll notice that it actually works out fine even though I moved it out like that. Um, hmm. You do kind of have to play with it, but it worked out pretty good. Let's see here. So now it's just there. Okay, and then the next text comes in a little far left, or far right, excuse me. Um, so it takes a little bit of tweaking and playing with, but get it pretty good. Okay, so we'll just do it there. And now we have this text. Let's go ahead and select this. Is the text two here? group text too. We're going to again hit the face and this way we can edit all the text and if you want it mm, doesn't do anything. <laughs> okay so um, um, final cut pro um, motion three and we'll just go with color and I want this centered more so let's actually go back here uh, take the arrow tool and we'll just center it a bit more like that let's center this one some more okay so now let's go back here oops not what I wanted there we go now we're back with the camera so now you can see it just kinda goes like that and actually if we can just select um, right here, we can select the individual text. Can we do that? Paste it here. Select just this text. Move it over like that. So it's a little more centered. And now it looks a little better. There. Final Cut Pro, Motion 3, Color. Did I spell color right? <laughs> I think I spelled it right. Yeah, okay, color. <laughs> wow. Dang. Anyways. Um, so, yeah, we're just going to continue scrubbing through here. And there's the last one. I'll tell you the truth right now. I have no idea what I'm going to put in here for this. Um, well, here, yeah, let's do this. Let's just say comment rate 
subscribe. There we go. So now, let's get back here. We'll move right more in the center, just like that. There we go. So that looks pretty good. Comment, rate, subscribe, and there we go. So now let's go back to the beginning and shift Z. It's going to show you whole project. Just going to select the active camera and let's play through it. Down 24 7, best vid. Whoa. Didn't even catch that. Let's go. Group one. This one. There we go. Let's edit this. Oops. Mm. Come on. Vids. Uh, there we go. That's better. All right. So let's go back here. Yeah, let's do this. Play this through here. So there you go. Really easy. Um, basic. You know, that's about as basic as motion gets. Um, is just using the uh, um, the basic templates or the templates that come with it or whatever and uh, then we can just jump over to iTunes and you know pick a song to go in the back that we think would work good like um, That's how you do that. Um, all right, yeah, I'll, I'll show you guys. Um, then you can go here, export, and we're just gonna export it here as a whoops, as a QuickTime movie, and I'm just gonna save it as best vids on the net, and we'll do it in my films. Why not? Well, actually, screw it. Desktop it is. I don't really mess with any of these. Uh, QuickTime Movie is pretty much the best. Um, image sequence, self-explanatory, and the current frame is just the frame that it's in right now. And it exports all those frames. Um, as it goes here, you can see each frame as it's going through. And... Um, it's going a little quicker than it's gone for me before, and that is because I have three gigabyte now of RAM, which is really nice. Because I'm screen capturing and working with motion, and motion does a lot of math on your computer and stuff, but there you go. Now it is a full video. Easy as pie. So yeah, that is how you work with templates and make your own um, intro video with Final Cut Pro and motion your own audio obviously no copyright infringement no, I'm just kidding um, so yeah thanks for watching guys and I will see you next time